Well, let's go everybody, it's Patrick Midtown Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing on this Saturday? I hope you're doing well. The time this video comes out, I'll be loading the truck up, headed out for an overnighter. Um, I can't wait to bring you that video. Sorry, I'm getting repositioned here. Anyways, head to pick up CJ. She's got rehearsal tonight or this afternoon. But what I want to talk to you about is Tuesday's video. And I was. I was stuck with content. What to do next. And if you feel like you're in a bad spot or if you feel like you're not 100% there, God, dog, between my friends and YouTube friends, holy crap, did I, did I get some messages. You don't know how much I appreciate those messages and the text messages and everything from everybody. Holy crap. Um, but it filled my head with so much stuff that I was like, okay, the the best thing I can say is somebody said just be yourself do what makes you feel good do what works for you there's two or three people that said that and I'm like yeah that's that that's why it doesn't it feels wrong that's why some of the videos don't feel right I need to do what I like to do and so anyway one of the things I love to do is camping. Love going to Bill and them off-road trips. We scheduled one. We've, we've got something scheduled for November. So that's, you know, something coming up. Uh, that one I'm pretty excited about because it sounds like it might be pretty fun and might get to see some colors. But what I wanted to say is I'm so appreciative of the people that reached out to the people that messaged me whether it was on YouTube, whether it was a text message, uh, Instagram post, whatever it was, I had so many of you guys, and that's why I love this outdoor community I'm part of, that reached out to me and said, you know, the things they said, the kind words they said. Um, you know, you, you don't realize how good you've got sometimes until you feel like you don't have it that good and then you got several hundred friends that reach out and say, dude, what are you talking about? But, yeah, um, the quality of video I want to put out there is production type looking stuff. But quit sweat that kind of, I guess I need to quit sweat that. Um, I go back and watch some of my videos and some of the, I don't know if anybody else does it, but I go back and watch some of my older videos and go, you know, that, that came out really good. And then I watch the next one and go, man, I should have done some other things with that. And I think the biggest problem I have is that sometimes I don't video enough when I'm doing something. Like this weekend, when you watch this, I'm going to be on the road and... I'm actually going to have three cameras at my disposal to fire off at any to point in time. And I think it's just a matter of getting that B-roll, getting that main content, and building that story of this trip that's coming up. And you'll see some really neat stuff that I'm going to do in this trip, because I'm doing something a little different, and you'll see that in the video when it comes out. But I just wanted to say thank you so, so much for all the people who reached out. I mean, there were some big channels that reached out. There were some little channels that reached out. But you know what? We're all outdoor community channels. We're all outdoor-minded people. And that's what, that's, you know, that's the love we have for one another, too. And I can say that. I'm a 53 year old man. I can say it's the love of the people and the love of the outdoors. It's the love of making these videos and 
making content for everybody to watch. You know, they say, you know, hey, I subscribe to your channel and I'll watch from time to time, but I have so many it's hard to keep up anymore. And I get that too. I get that too. Um, and sometimes wonder, you know, if you're better off being a small channel with, you know, 500 views on one little video, you know, in a month's time or in a year's time versus some of these big channels that get thousands of views in a day's time. You know, it just blows me away. I guess I'm, I'm I guess I was pushing myself a little too hard for what I was what I'm expecting I guess and I think that's one of the biggest things that I push too hard on myself um, to make that next video to make that next you know maybe this will catch their attention maybe this will you know be the one that goes viral maybe this will be the one that does and how about I just make the damn video and put it out there and not sweat it that's what I'm going to do I'm going to quit sweating it I'm going to quit worrying about did it get 800 views? Did it get 100 views? Did it just get two views? I'm going to stop worrying about that. I'm going to stop worrying about where that number is. I'm going to start worrying about I'm having a good time. And that's what this was whole supposed to be about was having a good time in the outdoors, getting more people outdoors. You know, my family, my friends, whoever wants to go with me just all you got to do is say it and you we're together we're out having fun enjoying nature whether it be camping hiking driving shooting whatever the hell we're doing outdoors let's get out there so with all that said this saturday get outside and go have some fun on mid 10 outdoors all right guys appreciate you watching appreciate the support the love all that stuff trust me love everyone each and every one of you guys y'all mean the world to me be prepared see you on the next one